second to, well, the last few days of this pregnancy. We are here now in the mall to uh, finally, finally join the Wakanda crew. There we go. Wakanda for life, guys. <laughs> So because obviously of everything, we haven't been able to actually watch Black Panther. Actually, we planned to watch it on my birthday, but there was like a, a blizzard. <laughs> we got stuck <laughs> at home, <laughs> and we couldn't stuff. watch it, so we're really excited to watch it now. We're early, we have reserved our tickets, so that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna grab some food now, or some, at least some snacks, nachos, or yep. popcorn, and then head in. I'm super excited, and yeah, I can't wait. I, let, I really, really hope the hype is worth it, honestly. Wakanda for life, Wakanda, guys. Wakanda. <laughs> Theater now, we got all our snacks ready and we bought a lot. <laughs> oh, the perfect seats, like literally, <laughs> we're dead in the middle. The exactly. first row, well, the and last row, right? Like the, last yeah, the row last at the row. end in the middle. So, <laughs> we're ready for the full experience. So, come on, Black Panther, don't it's, disappoint us. <laughs> it's exhausting climbing up. <laughs> It was like 20 rows or so, and like then I needed actually a minute now to breathe before him talking. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna enjoy the movie now, and we'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye! So, Wakanda, fresh out of the movie. That movie was lit! <laughs> Two things I'll say to David. Number one is that I wish that I had already had the baby before Black Panther was released. And two, that I watched it in Africa, or something, like any <laughs> African sense. country, and properly decked up to go. Oh my there were God. actually some funny clips I saw online beforehand uh, from South Africa where people came out and they just started dancing and singing and cheering outside. My best part of the movie was when, um, you know, so they were fighting, and you know, one of the rhinos that they had activated <laughs> like came up to Dania yes, right yeah. and just literally stopped and licked her face I was like yes honey <laughs> that was pretty oh awesome God, God. very good like this is one of the movies I could totally come back to watch like I watch it like three times four and that's times. actually what a lot of people have said right that they've already watched it like three four five times I which could, is incredible I yeah. could come back oh my god but it's, and it's so it's incredible how many well, secret or not so secret, um, sort of references there actually have been to all sorts of different African cultures, I think, whether language or yeah. attire or, you know, and I actually have a feeling that probably a lot of people actually have no clue about it. They just look at it as a, as a, like a normal action hero movie, but yes. they didn't get, I, I think a lot of people didn't get quite you a lot really of the... You relate to it if you're like, obviously, like when they had shown Nigeria the first time, or like in the art gallery when one of the artifacts was like from Edo, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. God, I could totally relate to that. <laughs> it was so awesome. No, it was really, really good. Very powerful. Um, um, yeah, so definitely lived up to the hype. And also very <laughs> unexpectedly focused a lot on the storyline versus I feel a lot of the action hero movies is more about the pure action and, yeah. you know, as sort of crazy and big um, as possible. And I felt, you know, with Black Panther, it wasn't as much action, I would say, not as much, you know, fighting and whatnot, like, but a lot of sort of the story. Well, but not, well, not as crazy if you look at, like, um, you know, Superman yeah. and those kind of movies that are, like, all over the no, place. But no, this had soul. But that's my point, that's my point. Oh it was much more focused on, like, sort of the soul of it, the, 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 uh, the storyline. You know, wait, when you finished, right, I was like, David, don't tell me this movie's over. I know. It's like, wait, what? We literally just started. There better be a part two. Yeah, and it was two hours at the end of the day, you know, but it felt oh. like an hour max. Very and good. Beyond expectation. I'm sorry for any spoilers but i'm sorry i just have to share my opinion because this movie was just awesome okay <laughs> <laughs> look at david our souvenir i'm gonna snack on that later today on that later. yeah but yeah. it's very nice to just be out uh, have a little bit of a date yeah. well, as we said earlier maybe our last date uh, till the baby yeah so um but yeah now we're heading back to our existing baby not to our think about it think about it actually from when this video goes up, it's actually going to be a few days until the baby arrives. That's true, actually. That's very, very <laughs> true. But now we're heading back to our toddler. 
um, who is hopefully sleeping now. Yeah. Um, and I am looking forward a little bit as well to, you know, seeing him sleep and being yeah. being next to him again. <laughs> uh, we will be probably talking and dreaming about Wakanda and whatnot tonight. So, without further ado, Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning on this rainy, rainy Sunday. Uh, now this is a special Sunday uh, because it's Mother's Day today, at least in Ireland. Um, I'm, I'm aware that uh, Mother's Day is not always on the same day everywhere in the world. Um, even in Germany, it's on a different date. But in Ireland, it is Mother's Day today. So Kian and I have decided to head out early today. Well, it's mostly because Kian will just woke up early. So <laughs> good thing is Adana is still sleeping. Um, and we have headed out now to uh, buy a few things to surprise Adana with hopefully a very nice breakfast. Of course, some flowers and maybe a few little presents. So let's see. But um, Kian, are we excited about Mother's Day? Yeah. Are we thankful for all the mothers out there? Yeah. Good. And are we especially thankful for your mother and my wife? Yeah? Are we? Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> so let's go. Bring it back. It goes on and on. When I picture you and I in the morning light, they play our song. Cause you know that I got you, baby. We can make it to fire. Ay, 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 ay. The way so we are done. We got everything we need, some nice flowers, a um, little present and also some chocolate and loads and loads for breakfast. I'm um, so very happy Whew, with that. It's so funny. At the moment, I think about 90% of the customers in the store are men because I think they're all just like Keen and I doing some last minute errands for Mother's Day. But that's fine. At least they're doing something. <laughs> every day at the moment is so exciting you know we're, we're getting so close to uh, the due date um, so yeah it's just uh, we're just spending time together I am finally off work as well so I'm on an early paternity leave um, which is great so I get to spend more time uh, with Kian and Adana and really get everything ready for the arrival um, Adana is back in the house I had to uh, get out to actually pick up my jacket a couple of vlogs back um, so that I actually brought my jacket to a tailor here together with Kian. So I am now on my way to pick it up again and then head back home. We are probably heading out later to uh, the mall, run some errands there, have some dinner together maybe. Um, so that, that should be fun. Let's see what the next few days uh, hold for us. But hey, Wakanda forever. About it. just got here to the coast close to where I'm picking up my jacket and it is absolutely freezing and the wind is so strong I've never actually seen the sea here in Dublin that strong it's crazy super super cold very uncomfortable and honestly I can't wait head back home and cuddle in with Adana and Kian and have a cup of tea or something so cold <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you're wondering why everywhere's decorated with the Irish flags because today is St. Patrick's Day, and that's why everywhere's empty just because there's a St. Patrick's Day parade in town, um, which is convenient for us as a family that it's not so crowded to be honest. But the sun is out, and Keen is in a good mood. Keen is a good mood. I'm representing here with green, so. <laughs> 
Island. I'm just saying to Javid, it's only when you become a family <laughs> that you start appreciating the quietness of places like malls. Because it's usually really packed on Saturday, but it's super empty because of the St. Patrick's Day parade. And I'm like, love that it's empty. It's amazing. By the way, new Ooh. hair. Who this? Uh huh. Who is this? <laughs> made my hair yesterday. Are you ready to eat? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say hi to so everyone. Say hi to you. Too. Tell them your name. What's your name? What's your name? Kiki. Wow. How old are you, Kiki? Two. Oh. Two. Wow. And how are you? Are you fine? Hi. Where's Papa? <laughs> Where's Mama? Hiya. Hi, Mama. Did Papa kiss? Thank you. Was ist das Wird dir helfen? Oh, hier. Kann es open. Was ist denn das? Was ist denn das? Are you stealing something from the store? Huh? No? We can't take this, Kian. This belongs to the store. We can't take it, huh? This isn't ours. Mama! Yeah, let's go back to Mama. Kian is helping us choose the new buggy for his new sibling. We're a bit undecided. This one you prefer? You like the color? You like the color? Guys, right, so we're back home after a great meal in Dundrop. I can't try to open my dress. Anyway, so after we had lunch, we pretty much just went to look for a buggy. Um, yeah. Do you guys have any recommendations for buggies? There are lots of good buggies out there, but David and I don't really like a double buggy. I don't know, there's just something about double, double buggies. I've not actually found any double buggy that i okay. really really like they're either too wide or they're too long because obviously they have to fit two seats so we're looking for another buggy that we can either use for the baby or convert kian's buggy back into a bassinet buggy so that we can use that for the baby i don't know if that makes sense anyway we're on this buggy scouting phase right now and we pretty much have a few days to make up our minds and actually just buy a buggy besides that oh, we're just back home oh. look at these boys kick, kick. yeah my son is going to be a footballer because he kicked the ball <laughs> once <laughs> finally he's starting to show papa's skills <laughs> <laughs> so i have just about a week to go hopefully this baby makes its debut <laughs> really really soon Hi. this is pretty much what my bump yeah. looks like at close to 40 weeks this may probably be the last bump date before baby comes so look anyway i'm exhausted and i'm gonna go bye should <laughs> we go yeah. are we going yeah okay let's go yeah. bye bye guys bye kiki hey kian bye bye to mama Bye-bye! Bye-bye, we're going to change. Bye, enjoy. Stay Bye. there, please. I need ah, some I quiet. No, no, just stay there. <laughs> oh my God, are there any mothers who can actually relate to some piece of quiet? Like, anytime Davi takes Kia for bath or pyjama, I don't even know. When he takes it for nighttime routine, I'm like, David, can you 
intentionally just slow the process because I need some quiet <laughs> and I know that it's only going to get worse with two kids so I'm trying to get all of the quietness that I can get in this household because Kian is just the crazy guy I'm gonna enjoy some me time catch up on Grey's Anatomy or Scandal one of them <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Uh, who's, who's ready for bed? Wait. Hi. Hi. Hello, Kim. Hi. Oh. <laughs> hey. These crazy hey. boys have hey. come down. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Do you guys see what I have to deal with <laughs> when I crave some peace of quiet? This is it because Kia. Kia screams like a mad person. <laughs> Good night, guys. Tired. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, Good no. night. Good night, Papa. Oh, Good night.